Good morning everyone. Welcome back to Savi Tutorials. Today we'll deal with second type of graph problems in basic geotechnical engineering module 1. So the second type is for the calculation of liquid limit of soil. So here we have two methods to calculate the liquid limit of the soil. One is the Kissegrande method which in which we are using semi-log graph sheet. Another one is the cone penetration method in which you will be using a normal graph sheet. Okay, the first method is liquid limit test by Cassegrande method. Here is a question given. The following results are obtained from the liquid limit test. So the data given is they will give you number of blows which is in N, water content in percentage. So from these two things you need to calculate what is the liquid limit of the soil and also calculate flow index. So now let us start with the plotting of the graph. So on the x-axis you have number of blows, on the y-axis you have water content. So your x-axis scale will be 0 0.01, 0 0.1, 110 and 100. Your y-axis scale will be as usual for a normal graph. So it will be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and 70. Now you can write the scale for this. So the scale for the x-axis one unit is equal to 0 0.01 n and for the y-axis one unit is equal to 10%. Now we will start with the plotting of the graph. So we will see the values. The first value on the x-axis should be number of blows. On the y-axis you should have water content. So what is the first value for the number of blows? It is 12. With respect to that you have water content 56. So first we will mark these two points. First you need to search 12 on the x-axis. So where is 12? So it is 1, 10, Hit. After 10 you have 20, in between 10 and 20 you have 10 lines, so in between here exactly here is your 12. Next on the y axis you have water content, so water content is 56, so it will somewhere coincide here. Next we will move on to the next point that is 18 and 52. So again 18 it will be between 10 and 20. So here you will have 18, with respect to 18 you have 52, so exactly it will coincide here. The next point is 22 and 50, so 22, so here is 20 and here is 30, again in between 20 and 30 you have 10 lines, so 22 will be somewhere here, so exactly it will coincide at 50, so here is the 50 point. Next and the last point is 34 and 45. So 34 here, 34 again the, it will be between 30 and 40. So here will be 34 and the point is 45, 34 and 45. Now you need to join all these four points by means of a straight line. Okay, so this straight line you call it as flow curve. The straight line you call it as flow curve. Now our first aim is to calculate what is the liquid limit of the soil. So for calculating the liquid limit of the soil you should draw, first you should mark a point that is 25 on the x axis for respect to 25 number of blows whatever the water content we get that is the liquid limit of the soil. Okay, so now I have drawn a vertical line from the 25 number of blows and then a horizontal line. So whatever the value you get on the y axis you will get to know what is the liquid limit of the soil. So here the liquid limit of the soil is 49%. After calculating the liquid limit you need to calculate what is the flow index. So first we will write the formula to calculate flow index. So flow index IF is equal to W1 minus W2 divided by log of n2 divided by n1. So here n1 is the number of blows that number of blows will be equal to 10, n2 is the number of blows that will be equal to 100. Now with respect to these blows you need to calculate what is the water content. So how to calculate that first what is n1? n1 is nothing but 10 number of blows. So mark 10 on the x axis mark 10 on the x axis from there you should draw a vertical line and then a horizontal line to get the value of w1. 
So your W1 value will be equal to 59%. In the same way, N2 is nothing but 100 number of blows. Now mark 100 on the x-axis. From that point, you draw a vertical line and then a horizontal line. then a horizontal line to calculate what is W2. So according to the graph what is W2? So your W2 will be equal to 33%. Now by using these values you can calculate what is IFS. Substitute these values. So W1 is 59 minus 33 divided by log of we know what is N2 and N1. N2 is for 100 and N1 is for 10. So you can calculate what is IFS. The IF value is 26 percent. So this is the final result what we get from the Cassegrande method. You will be calculating what is the liquid limit of the soil with respect to 25 number of blows and next you will be calculating what is IF that is flow index. How to get the IF that is with respect to a number of blows N2 and N1. N2 is 100, N1 is N1 is 10 with respect to that you should calculate what is W1 and W2 and then you will be calculating what is the IF value of the soil.